Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a sample context API workflow. Here's a simple CSV file that we'd like to import as context. Of course, you could manually import the table, but often there's a need to build an automated solution that updates these values on a regular cadence. First, let's create a custom context table for the demo. Add custom, we'll call this malicious IPs. We'll set other as the table type. When we add attributes, we can add attributes from the existing list. In this case, we'll go ahead and create our own custom attribute. And every table is going to have to have a key attribute. We'll make that our key attribute and create. To use the API to manage this context table, first you'll need an API key. Create a new key from the admin settings. We'll call it context updates and set the permissions appropriately. And we're going to need both the key ID and the key secret to make an API call to retrieve a token to be used in subsequent API calls. So I'll copy the key ID and I'm going to pivot over to the Exabeam developers portal, which by default takes you to the get access token endpoint page. And I'm going to paste that key ID, then return back, grab the secret and paste the secret. The grant type attribute is already set to client credentials, so the only other thing we need to do is make sure that the base URL points to the region that our environment lives in. Ours is in US East, and we can run it. We're going to need the access token in the response, so we'll copy it to the clipboard. And for safekeeping, we'll paste it over here. Then I'm going to copy that string to my clipboard. Alternatively, you can easily get an authentication token directly from the API key menu by selecting Generate and Copy Token. Select Context Management and then Get Metadata for All Existing Context Tables Endpoint. We're going to paste our access token over here, verify that the base URL points to your region, and run it. We'll scroll down and locate our context table, copy it, paste it someplace where you can easily get to it because there are two pieces of information that we're going to need in our final API call and those are the IDs for the attribute and the ID for the table itself. And finally we'll select add context records to an existing table from a CSV file underneath path parameters, the ID string is the identifier of the context table itself. Paste that in. The source attributes under body params are going to be the names of the attributes themselves. And in my case, I have one attribute in my context table called IP. Target attribute IDs are in the metadata. Paste that. The operation can be either append or replace. And then we upload the CSV file. The bearer token has already been pulled over from the previous API call and the base URL is the same, so we can try it. We've got a successful response and if we go back to the original context table, we see that it's been populated with our values. Thanks for watching this video on the Xbeam Context API workflow.